cash for more options. Hello, Joe. It's Bryony speaking. Um, I've had a very, very, very distressing day today. Um, it's it's one nineteen in the morning. We've just come back from the Lansdowne Hotel. Darren is with me right now. He's not supposed to be in the property, but I've recorded my phone call to the police, as I do with 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 everything. Um. And he's and I've let them know that he's here to keep me safe, and that I have also texted the director of this property. Um, uh, as I said, this John John Clement has locked me out of Salon Place previously, and Barclays Bank rang him to try and get me back into the all male house share. I'm not feeling safe. Josh Babarundi, the MP, has not responded to those emails that I forwarded you. I will forward you the the previous emails I sent him when he was councillor, when I self-funded the Cavendish for nine months with back pip when I was attacked, because the same housing needs specialist said that that was a suitable accommodation and Charles Lucas Property Management and the police advised Darren to stay with me to keep me safe. He is now here doing the same thing again. Um, I can't do this anymore, Joe. I'm going to have to put this in writing to you because the amount of distress that this is causing because of these idiots... Um, and I'll put in writing to you what I've put in right in a text message to John about my rights as a contractual licensee, because uh, Darren has worded it really well. I do have rights. They have to give me four weeks. They can't just kick me out of here within a few days because of some idiots who are breaching the licensee agreement themselves by doing things like smoking in the room and basically um, being obnoxious. And when you're asking basic questions about bins and recycling and you get treated, well, anyway, I don't need to finish that sentence. So anyway, I just wanted to let you know because I'm going to put this in writing to you because my partner is here. There you go. Um, there we go. So I just wanted to let you know that because I can't take any more. I cannot take any more i've or i've already had a threat of disposal of my possessions when by law they well actually no he didn't threat threaten uh, jamie said he'd he'd actually disposed of my things at south road um i had a gold ring in that flat at sdr an heirloom and this is what's causing arguments between me and darren and i am very very close to having i've just had a woman crying for me uh, from warming up the homeless because I've just had enough. I've had enough, Joe. I've had enough. So I just wanted to let you know. Thank you. You recorded. Hello, Joe. It's Brian speaking. Um, had a very 